Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to yet another video. We are back with Championship Predictions. I'm joined by Harry, what's your thoughts? No thoughts, just vibes. Just vibes. There's thoughts only, about what? No, there's only two weeks of the season to go. One week we discussed on the stream earlier. Yeah, well after, to, after these games, there'll be one game. It's very sad, it's so sad. It's a sad, sad situation. It's been a roller coaster. It's been emotional, it's been brilliant, and I've enjoyed sharing every minute of it with you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's not making it to the final cut. Um, guys, get your predictions down below. Make sure you've liked and do hit that red subscribe button. We're trying to reach 11,000 by the end of May and there's plenty of content still to come. Let's get into it with Friday night's fixture first, which sees QPR go up against Sheffield United. Now, the battle for sixth, it does seem like it's the only playoffs place which is up for grabs and Sheffield United need to make it theirs. QPR are in the same boat as Coventry with a mathematical chance of making the playoffs, albeit they'll have to win their final two games dramatically and results go their way. Um, QPR aren't in great form. Sheffield United are not in perfect form, but they're bobbling over the line. I think this could be an entertaining Desmond. I'm going to kick it off with a 2-2 draw. I love how you're saying Desmond now through me um, yeah I can see I can, I can see this being 2-2 I don't think it will be I think Blades should just have enough to edge this I mean like you say their form isn't it's not setting any records but it's it's enough they're sort of ticking over uh, I think they might they might win this 2-1 I think they might just have enough and QPR again not really a great deal to play for. It's potential, but unlikely. Mm. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Uh, next up, we're going to go to the early game, which is between Barnsley and Preston. It's funny how this is like a lunchtime game on TV when there's nothing to play for. Barnsley are down. Preston are going to finish around mid-table. I think Barnsley are going to go down with a whimper. They've just lost to Blackpool. I think they're going to lose to Blackpool's rivals now in Preston. I'm going to go 2-1 to North End. I agree with you. Only difference is I don't think Barnsley is scoring. Uh, I think 2-0. Barnsley, nothing to play for. Try some kids out. Prepare for next season. Yeah, yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? But um, I, I fancy Barnsley to do well next season. Yeah, I do. Um, but you can never be sure, can you? I mean, Sheffield Wednesday are in a right little battle just to get sixth. So yeah. you can't be sure. No, absolutely not. Now, this is a big game. Blackburn Rovers versus AFC Bournemouth. Blackburn absolutely sliding down the table. Then that little win, well... It might not be a little win, it might be a big win, but that little spike in form again with the win against Preston out of nowhere, 4-1, has suddenly made me think, could they? They're not favourites to finish in the playoffs, but they have given themselves a chance. But they're up against AFC Bournemouth. It's a big game because both teams have got a lot to play for and not too many teams at this point of the season do. I'm going to say a one-all draw. I think it could be exciting. Both teams really want to win, but I'm going to say 1-1. Yeah, you mentioned uh, Blackburn propping up the little, the little, the little juicy dub the other day. I just think one egg don't make an omelet. I don't know if that's to say. I don't care. <laughs> what are you laughing at? One egg don't make an omelet. It's true. One win, one win is not going to make a top six result. One egg don't make an omelet. It doesn't. Okay. You, you need more than just the one win in five games. So, what are you laughing at? No, nothing. Nothing. Go on. I'm right though. It's it's one of those where they they needed their form to pop in a bit sooner to have much mm. of a chance. It's still open for them. I'm not saying it's not, but they they have to be. It's got to be absolute. You know, don't concede any goals, win everything, and you only got two games left. Even that probably won't be enough because you're relying on other results. Just because they have the points on the board, so possible, doubtful. I think Sheffield United, uh, not Sheffield United, uh, Bournemouth win it. I think Bournemouth win it. Um, they, they need another win. It'll be tough. I just think it'll be probably a 1-0. One 1-0 nil. One nil Bournemouth. Big, big game, that one. Uh, next up, we're going to go to Blackpool versus Derby County. Now, once again, not too much to play for. Although, I will say, I have a feeling Blackpool will make it into the top half. What an achievement for a newly promoted side to get 60 points by now. Incredible stuff. Meanwhile, Derby County relegated. Obviously, a real shame for them. But the writing was on the wall with the points deductions. I suppose the Derby fans are all looking towards next season now, wondering if they can have stability and able to move forwards and maybe bounce back. As for this game, Blackpool are favourites. Blackpool will win 3-1. Uh, I think Derby might start you know, thinking about next year as well. But I also think there's players in there that want to play for a championship club next season. I want to put in some performances that justify that. Uh, a lot of them have done for most of the season, it has to be said. They've not been the worst out of the, the bottom three teams by a long shot. They've actually been very good and we know that they'd be more than safe without their deductions. So they're still not a bad team even though they have gone down. 
I can see them just about sneaking a 2-1 win. Okay. Okay, now next up is Bristol City versus Hull City. There's not a lot riding on this. They've both done well to be clear of the bottom three, but they're both in reasonably good form. Hull have won three of the last four. Bristol City have won two and drawn two of the last four. So I think this could be a uh, pretty entertaining game, although there's not much to play for. It'll be interesting to see what both can do next season. I'm going to go for the home team here. I think Bristol City have excited me towards the end of the season. 2-1. They've excited him, guys. Yeah, 2-1 to the Robins. Uh, the battle for 17th. Big one. I think you're right. I think this will be an entertaining game. Uh, both quite evenly matched. Both in pretty good form, considering their league position. Obviously, nothing to play for. Have a fun game, boys. Enjoy your Desmond, because that's what I think it's going to be. Oh, Desmond. Okay. Uh, next up, we go to Cardiff City versus Birmingham City. We've just watched Cardiff lose to Middlesbrough. Birmingham City, meanwhile, haven't picked up a win in a little while. Frustratingly, they dropped points late on against Millwall in that 2-2 draw. Um, I think this could be another 2-2 draw. Both teams are going to finish in that sort of bottom eight or so, and at least they're staying up. But it's not really a season to remember for both. Cardiff 2, Birmingham 2. Let's have some fun. Poor game. Poor, poor game. Cardiff had a shocker here tonight against Middlesbrough. Uh, Birmingham had a shocker for the last sort of six months. <laughs> um, it, it's a shame for them because they started really well and then just yeah. they went back to basics, didn't they? In terms of Birmingham basics, they just started losing games and forgetting how to play football. I think it's going to be nil-nil. Um, oh. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't think I'd watch this if it was the last football game I've ever played on earth. <laughs> I just think it's going to be so boring. I don't think much is going to happen. I could be wrong, but no. I just don't see there being a lot of excitement here. Two okay. very average teams. Uh, next up is the game we'll be going to. Last game uh, for Coventry we'll be going to this season. Coventry taking on Huddersfield Town. Um, I said earlier on that Coventry and Huddersfield, since we've both been in the championship over the last couple of seasons, we've just keep drawing with each other. Now, Huddersfield actually have the thinnest of chances of actually making the top two, but they have to win this. Coventry, once again, they have the thinnest of chances of making the top six, but that is very, very unrealistic. I think it would be a draw. I think Huddersfield are going to be in the top six. I mean, we know they're going to be in the top six. And Coventry are going to finish probably around 10th or 11th. I think it would be an entertaining 1-1. I know what you meant by they're going to be in the top six. They're not going to be in the top two. Yeah. Um, I agree. I, I think the competition is too strong for that second place. I, I did go to this away game. I know you didn't. And I thought when I saw them at Huddersfield, weren't all that special. They just knew how to get results. And I think they've improved since then, so I'm a little bit concerned. I think we might lose this. It's going to be a shame to go out on a loss with our last game of the season. But I, I just can't see it going any other way. And unfortunately, I think it's going to be 2 nil, 2 mm. nil. 2-0, oh dear. Um, not the best ending for Coventry at the CBS there. Uh, next up to the Riverside, once again, we've just watched Middlesbrough beat Cardiff and now they play Stoke, another pretty decent fixture against a team that haven't got much to play for, although Stoke City, a little bit unpredictable. They can be quite decent. I am going to back Middlesbrough with more to play for. We said they need to target six points this week. They've already picked up three against Cardiff. I think they're going to pick up, pick up three against Stoke and take this to the final day. 2-1 to Borough. Yeah, I can see why you go for that. I just, I'm looking at Stoke now, and their form is better than it has been. I, they had a, a very protracted phase of being a, a bombs uh, in terms of. <laughs> you're laughing at bombs. So I'm laughing at me. Um, well, they did because they they were in the top six for a little while, and then they just again, like Birmingham, forgot to play football. Not quite to the same uh, same extent because they're still lingering around the mid table. Uh, but I do think they're a team that you can't sleep on. Uh, so I think they could potentially get a result here. Um, I say a result, only a point, but it's more than you've given them. I yeah. think it's going to be one all. One all. Okay, interesting. Uh, next up, we're going to go down to the Den, where Mill will take on relegated Peterborough. Commiserations to Peterborough joining Derby and Barnsley in League One next season. Um, do you know what? Peterborough have been competitive in the last few weeks. They've certainly upped their game. It's just too little too late. And Millwall have got a lot to play for. Millwall are still going for that sixth place. If Millwall win their final two games, it would put them up to 72 points. And that has a, there's a very good chance that could be enough. They need to win this one. I think they will. I'm going to say 2-1. I think that's the frustration for posh fans is that you look at their form. They've got the best form in the bottom six. Mm. It's just too late. They've not done it early enough to pick up the points. If they, if they had three, four more games than they do, then you'd have to back them. But the reality is, time has just run out and they've not done enough early enough. Uh, I think they'll be dejected. I think they'll lose this. I think Millwall are 
still in with a, a, a slight shout more than we have as Coventry fans. So I can see him winning this as well. And I think again, it'll be 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Now next up to the City ground. I know that a lot of Nottingham Forest fans are feeling excited at the moment. They're all tuning in to see what our predictions are for this big game. Because if they can win this, that Bournemouth game is going to be absolutely huge on Tuesday. I think... Forest will beat Swansea. It's obviously Steve Cooper up against his former team. We saw Swansea competitive. They denied Bournemouth a win, although they were 3-0 up and threw it away. I think this will be a very exciting game. It could be a nervy one, but I'm going to back Forest to win 2-1. I think that's what concerns me about Swansea in this game, because they have the ability to do it, but they don't seem to have the bottle to hold it. And I think Forest are just, they look so difficult to stop. I think they've only lost one in, what, 20 games, something ridiculous like that. Regardless of what the actual stats are, they were in an unbelievable vein of form. And I think this will carry on. And I, I actually think it'll be somewhat easy for them. I think it's 3-1. Oh, 3-1. OK, now next up, we're going to go to watch Reading versus West Brom at Champion in a game which, once again, doesn't mean anything. Congratulations to Reading, by the way, on staying up. There was a time where it looked like they could go down. Remember, they've had a points deduction, so fair play to them. They are going to be playing championship football again. So will West Brom at Champion. Watch them against Coventry. Not very inspiring. I wonder what Steve Bruce will do next season. As for this game... I think it'd be another goalless draw for the Baggies. Remember, both teams aren't playing for anything now. Maybe they'll rotate a bit. Goalless draw, nil-nil. Yeah, also congratulations to West Brom for staying up this season. I know it's a little bit concern of yours to get ready to get to League One, so glad you managed to avoid that. I, yeah, they are, they're just bang average, West Brom, uh, it turns out. I, I can see a bit of the goalless draw as well. I yeah. don't like, agree with a lot of your predictions, but I think that one's bang on. There's just not a lot in this, is there really? No. Uh, the final game then is at Craven Cottage on the Monday. We'll be doing a stream for this one as Fulham host Luton. Fulham's still waiting to be confirmed as champions. They're not actually ending the season very well, but we know they've been promoted for a long time now. Um, Luton Town are the visitors, and they could be wrapped up in the top six as by the time this game comes around, but at the moment they're not. And they've got to take things seriously until they are. I think they'll get a point here, and that would probably nudge them over the line. I think for them, one, Luton, one. Yeah, I, this is no disrespect to Luton at all. I just think the Fulham are now in a position where they don't want to bottle the title. It doesn't look like they're going to. Um, but I think with the way their last few games have gone, they'll want a real response. I don't think it's going to be like a 7 1 pounding like they've done to some teams. I think there might just be, it might be a, a little 2 3 1. I think I'm going to go for 2 1 because they're very solid. Mm. But I think this will be the day we finally see Fulham confirmed as champions of the championship. There you go. That wraps up our championship predictions. Let me know your predictions down below. Still a lot to play for. And the next time we record this, it'll be the final day <laughs> of the championship season. Uh, make sure you've dropped a like. Make sure you've subscribed. Plenty of content still to come. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.